Okay, so Voodoo on the top left and his team partner Jirai on the bottom right. Jirai is playing random, this time he has a Terran. And his uh, team, uh, his opponents, their, their opponent is going to be Bonnie on the top right and Ziki on the bottom left, Zerk and Protoss. So I'm gonna switch the colors so it's going to be easier to follow it. Mm, let's see guys if you can see everything and hear everything. Okay, so Luna, Luna, this is a nostalgic feeling, guys. Do you remember Luna? This 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 expansion used to be mineral only, and now it has gas. So now it has been upgraded by Saudi Arabia mm -mm -mm, by some additional extractors. The biggest problem for Bonnie and Ziki is that they are not having the knowledge of who they are playing against. Oh yeah, ramps were different, like the, the natural entrance is also made the way that Protosses can wall in, in one versus one, so it's adjusted to the nowadays meta style. And we're gonna have Marines and Medic, because Terran and Zerg against Protoss and Zerg, they have an option to... They have an option to... to play Goliaths and Marines and Medics. And this is pretty, pretty... Uh, pretty cool, but now it's relatively obvious that they are going for Marines and Medic, but... Terrans can mess, like mix it up, and it's on Zerg to, to adjust to the strategy. As you can see, Voodoo will try to defend this hatchery. This is very forward hatchery. Like, this will be so hard to defend for him. I mean, it would be hard to defend for me, but maybe Voodoo can do it somehow like better than I do, but for me, this is a disaster situation. Wow, he seems like he's holding on, but holy crap, that was that's really really close to holding on. Okay, so what the hell do I know? He should wait for two more rings. He shouldn't fight right, like right now. Like there is no reason to take drones. I, I mean, maybe he wants to place as a creep colony. That would be good. Like disruption of the aim. Nice drone drill. But I think it's good for Bonnie also to eliminate some additional drones. And Jiraiya with the excellent counter-attack, trying to take some attention from his ally. He's trying to buy some additional time and that's very, very smart from him. It would be perfect for him to eliminate this probe because then Bonnie wouldn't have a chance to rebuild the, the cannons. Still, it's really hard to fight against those marines. The low ground is not helping. The speed just kicked in, but it looks like Jiraiya has enough. Nice micro from Jiraiya. But beautiful micro from Ziki as well. But he eliminated the cannon, so... Uh, the, the probe, so there will be no more cannons. So if Jiraiya will make, for example... Mm, I don't know, 12 marines and medics, it will be very easy to pass this position. But as you can see, Bonnie already sending a probe. No probe, yeah. <laughs> no speed as well for the links. Ooh, nice catch from Voodoo. Who I misspelled, I believe. Uh...
the aggression is real. They don't even need a... Ooh, that was close. I wanted to say they don't even need a medic, but they really did need a medic. And it looks like Bonnie and Ziki hold that very, very nicely. Um, I think Bonnie will be able to apply a lot of pressure with those four zeros because it's only one sunken and uh, with four links it will be hard to block those zealots. So I don't think he will kill the Zerg, but if he will kill this four, then Ziki will have easy time harassing this position. And this pool is dead. Ooh, and poor Voodoo will not have it even... Like, now he will be only on the run production, because he's not even building a layer. Ziki, six mutas of Ziki. Like, like, if you are a Terran and you faced Ziki, you probably know what a nightmare it is to face six mutas of Ziki, especially if you don't have range upgrade. Oh my god, those zeros are still alive. Bonnie is crazy. <laughs> this micro is insane. Eight kills. Zealot. Look, for, for a second it looked like plus one weapon zealots. Oh, Ziki. Like, Bonnie is just showing off, right? This is a. Too much dancing, seven drones, seven kills, holy moly. Ziki can do what he likes, which is building mutas and microing mutas, so I think he is very happy with the position he is in. And at the moment, like, the moment he will start harassing Zerg, it will be a very, very hard situation for, um, for him, for, 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 the, for the ERK team, because Zerg this, his spawning pool and extractor is very exposed. Unless the voodoo um, idea for this game is simply make mass, mass links. But this is a river tech from Bonnie, so... This is smart, because he knows that the voodoo is not going for mutas, so... River tech will eliminate those marines, and it will be, it will be very, very hard for Juraya to stay in this game. He's macroing very, very nicely with four barracks, but Ziki was able to eliminate this important, important pack of units. And like the question is, what is more, what is stronger, one, one river or twenty four links? Okay, let's see. This river might have twenty four kills in a second. Oh, the zeros are taking the kills. Okay, why didn't it... Oh, because the shuttle loaded up the, the river, so it didn't show the kills. And there is a speed for this shuttle, so... Nice micro from Voodoo. But this river is very, very low. Marines came to help, but 
imagine attacking against this kind of army composition. Even though this weaver is almost dead, it's so scary. And those medics, this medic is having a hard time healing it up. At the same time, Ziki was able to take the third base. Very nicely done. And this weaver is. How many kills does it have? 19! Okay, now it should have 24, right? I didn't lie. Oh, but Jiraya with the excellent flank. Did you see that, guys? This flank was madness. That was insane. Very nicely done, but... <laughs> Voodoo don't have cash for the drone. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Brachiotian. Um, there is no bracket. This is, a, this is just a show match. This is a show match tournament. Uh, and... Uh, this is a show match announcement and after after this this show match we're gonna have announcement actually after this best of three we're gonna have a show match and after this show match we're gonna have announcement I mean there will be a lot of bio from Jiraiya but I think he needs like three more medics For it to work. The Marines have 1-1 one, one even, so maybe with 1-1 one, one Marines he can do it. Oh, but those medics are poor medics. Okay, and Bonnie is coming with the reinforcements. So I, I like killing Bonnie army first, assuming it will work, but I don't think it will work. Oh, poor Jiraiya. Nice flank. Beautiful split from Jiraiya, but it's not enough. GG. And we have 1-1 one, one score. Very nice game between those players. So as you can see, guys, very interesting games in 2 versus 2. 2 versus 2 is a huge part of a StarCraft. At least huge part of a StarCraft I know. So that's great. I can see Kenzie on the chat, so maybe Mr. TT1, I mean on, on StarCraft, so maybe TT1 can pick up Kenzie and we're gonna have the repeat of the finals from last season. Okay, score is 1-1. The next map is going to be Paradise. Paradise, oh. <clears throat> Ooh, Mr. Deoltinio is coming with the raid. Thank you, Mr. Deolt. Wow, 103 viewers. Welcome, Mr. Deolt boys. <laughs> Uh, Privet, uh, hola amigos, and I wanted to say this is a BSL 2 vs 2 show match, announcement show match, and after this announcement I'm going to announce the second season of BSL 2 vs 2 Pro League, so if you like 2 vs 2, I encourage you all guys to stay over here because, because we're gonna have excellente announcement. Fa 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 la 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 la. Thank you. Ciao, Bistakev too. Thank you. Okay, guys. Bonnie and Ziki versus Jiraiya and Voodoo. Third game. Let's go.
Mr. Chubby Stack of uh, Two. Uh, there is no link. It's it's not announced yet. The, we will announce how it's going to look like, uh, like probably within within an hour. After this game, because this is Blood War Clanic match between ERK and Starcast Red. Uh, after this match, we're gonna have uh, another show match on two versus two maps, uh, map BSL two versus two maps, and then we announce everything. Is sub a Gosu for five months. Follow the lead chat. Sub to Mr. Streamer. Mister. Closing parenthesis. Mister KJ, thank you, my friend. Thank you for the thank you for the subscription. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have two Zergs. Who, which one is Jiraiya? So Voodoo is on the top right and Jiraiya is up on the bottom left. Mm, so we have two Zergs. And probably as a as a two Zergs, I'm, I think playing against Zerg and Protoss is relatively cool. Mm, especially that they don't know what kind of race Jiraiya played. Mm. And it's very, very fortunate for uh, for Jiraiya that Ziki scouted to the right and not to the bottom, so he will not scout Jiraiya first. Double gateway from Bonnie, I think that's that's what you want to do against two Zergs. The question is what Ziki will do because Oh wait! Oh wait, this is double nine pool. So double nine pool, nine pool means that the Zerg might be dead, right? Because it's going to be so freaking hard to defend those 12 links and probably a Sunken at the same time. And now Bonnie will scout and he will write Z, Z. Yeah, and he just write Z. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z even. Yes! <laughs> Okay, so now we have a layer. Ziki is very aware what's coming to him, but maybe he didn't scout the second nine pool. Oh, but I think Ziki is a little bit too optimistic with his links, but I really like the Sunk and the Quick Colony position. I don't see a drone. So that means that there will be no all-in. But I don't understand double 9 pool. I think 9 pool in and like 12 hatch is a better, ex better outcome, but... I mean, double 9 pool can have Hard to say, it has a potential, but because they will have extremely fast tech. Oh, but yeah, Bonnie immediately trying to punish a small mistakes. Yeah, Juraya is playing random always. Okay, dual dying pool means that Zerg will have no cash for spores, okay. Voodoo is trying to keep Ziki at base. They both have the similar opening with the fact that Ziki was forced to make a Sun Ken, but it didn't stop him from having a link advantage. Jiraiya is doing what he can to hide fight against those links. Those zeros, excuse me. There will be a Sunken from Voodoo, so he should be fine against this this aggression. It would be actually even good for him if Bonnie and Ziki will attack him, because he should crush this army with the Sunken. He should be careful to not lose too many drones. And that's perfect for Voodoo. And 
Tschüss, Gaia. Ja. Or was I will... Oh! <laughs> this is overload is hiding the... <laughs> the zealot, like, now Bonnie thinks, okay, the zealot is dead. Nope. Bonnie remembers. The North remembers. And now the drones will remember. But the Sanker will be there on time. But this is still pretty annoying disruption. And, uh, and as our fellow Knusser in 2016 was saying, yeah, no time for the spores. I mean, there will be spores, but there will be. Not before a lot of drones will fall. Nice micro from Jiraiya, but now he has to be careful, he has to survive this aggression from the Zerk and Protoss team. The Corsairs are in production from, from Bonnie. He's also thinking about expansion, I think. No, this is, those are goons. I really like that he's not fighting with the drones, but escaping with them. Ziki is still having two hatcheries, so he should be fine with rebuilding the, the drones. The aggression is constant, they don't want to give Jiraiya too much freedom to deal damage with, with those mutas. But at the same time now we can see Voodoo will eliminate the spore, so the biggest question is whether there is enough Corsairs from from Bonnie, it's only two for now. So I think Ziki needs to rebuild one more spore over here. This is already good for Jiraiya. Evolution Chamber coming from Voodoo, he is droning up. More drones going down. Only four left. <laughs> I like this this conversation. Okay, so they decided. I think going for a longer game is an option still for them. Like Voodoo will have expansion, so they don't need to all in, but it's not bad to apply pressure. I think Ziki should hold it, but maybe if the Mutas will eliminate links, it will be hard, but I don't like this attack from the red team. But they eliminated more drones, so that's pretty annoying. And even more drones coming from Voodoo, so if Bonnie will not deal him some critical damage, and it doesn't look like Bonnie has units, he spent all the resources, like most of the resources he had on the Corsairs. Thank you, Mr. Creative. Creative. Or fellow supporter. Okay, only one drone will be left for Ziki. And this drone is sniped, so it looks like Ziki is no longer in this game. Beautiful split from Jiraiya. So all they need to do right now is just play it. Play it slowly, play it safely. Don't allow Bonnie to kill one of them right now. Just build sunk and just build... Oh, those spores are anti corsair right? Okay. Bonnie with plus one weapon, so Lynx are not doing anything. I think Voodoo needs... Oh, that was nicely done by Bonnie. 
eliminating all the overloads. I thought that double spoke is an overextension, but what? Oh, a lot of links actually. That's a lot of links from Voodoo, so he will be able to defend this aggression from Bonnie. Nice surround. GG. GG from Ziki. But Bonnie is fighting it out. Bonnie is. Bonnie is strong. Bonnie is showing power. But nice defense from Voodoo. Nicely done. Mr. Raffo, this is not a bracket. I can't give you Link yet because it's not there yet. The one thing which is working great for Bonnie is that he's having so many... Oh, I hate this attack. Why would you attack over here? Oh, Mr. Voodoo! Mr. Thomas, this is a show match. The 2 vs 2 tournament will be announced today. <clears throat> it's going to be announced after the next best of three. And as we can see, Jirai is playing it slowly, adding a hatchery. The mutas have car pace. But there is Archon from Bonnie. And what I'm afraid if like I would like to see Voodoo placing another hatchery. Going for the lair. And probably go for Lurkers, try to play a longer game. Because if they will allow Bonnie to take expansion, this will be still a game to win for him. Voodoo is having a lot of cash and he's still winning more links, so I think additional hatchery wouldn't be bad. Okay, I like this hatchery a lot. All the overlords... No, probably Bonnie will not go for it because of the two spores. I like this harassment from Jiraiya. Those links, if they would have plus one carapace, it would be a little bit different story. There is definitely a chance to eliminate uh, Jiraiya right now with those Zealots and Corsairs. Jiraiya is aware of that, so he's building more and more Sankens. He understands that there is a huge value in him staying in this game. I think with some 5 Sankens it's defendable. This DT is having a field day. But a lot of drones has been eliminated. However, the army of Bonnie also has been eliminated. This Dark Templar, 17 kills. We finally have a Hydra switch, plus one carpets for the links, and this Hydra switch will cancel the expansion of Bonnie, and now this Dark Templar probably will allow Bonnie to stay alive, but will he stay in this game? I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe, oh, target fire the Archon, maybe, I don't know, there is no overload speed, right?
GG from Bonnie and Voodoo and Jiraiya are taking 2-1 lead. Nicely done. GG. Wow, what a series.